Let's activate the Mirror Components tool. For my mirror plane, I'll select this face. Now Components to Mirror, I'll select the part. Go to Next. Let's take a look at the mirror type area. I've got two options, bounding box center or center of mass. When I toggle between these two modes, nothing seems to change in the preview, but let's reorient our component. And now we can see the difference between these two options, bounding box center or center of mass. My part also has two unabsorbed sketches and support planes. When I create an opposite hand version, the Next button becomes available. And let's click it. From here, we can create a new derived configuration in existing files, or we can create new files. Let's click Next. On this page, we have the option to transfer, and we can choose which items we want. Just check the boxes, bodies, surfaces, axes, planes, etc. Let's check solid bodies and click Accept. And here's my mirrored component. Let's open the Solid Bodies folder. Here's the solid body. All right, let's right-click on Mirror Component 1 and make some more changes. Next and next to get to this page of the wizard. This time, let's check Planes and Unabsorbed Sketches too, and then click Accept. Here I've got two new folders. They contain four planes and two sketches, respectively. This concludes our video about mirroring your components. We'll see you back in a minute.